there is incredible scope to the uh, reality of prayer. There really is no end to the parameters of this uh, this engagement that we've been uh, called to participate in. Now, the further we venture, the more surprising the delights that will open to your understanding. The person of God himself, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, they are participating in this orchestral work that's taking place in the spirit realm. Uh, They conduct it, you know, and it's happening all around us, directing our heads, our hands and our hearts to join with other agents in that realm, rendering service to the king. Angels await their bidding, you know, bound to to act on God's word. And the somewhat befuddling reality is that those words that put angels into action often proceed from the mouths of his saints here on earth. You know, heaven, heaven and earth very literally meet in the place of prayer. And agents and residents of both realms are working in tandem to produce these godlike results. Psalm 103 verse 20 and 21 is really eye-opening. It says, Bless the Lord, you his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening to the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, ye his hosts, ye ministers of his, that do his pleasure. And here we say that the angels, these strong angelic beings, do his commandments, hearkening unto his word. And often it is through the mouths of his saints in the place of prayer that those words are released and those commandments go forth. You know, your words really do take effect in the heavenlies, operating beyond the scope of earth and beyond natural limitations. Prayer is more than just words. They are works, literally in the spirit world. Like the words of our Father, they are alive, they are active. So, um, Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12, I love the amplified version of this particularly, says, For the word that God speaks is alive and full of power, making it active, operative, energizing, and effective. You know, working together with the word of God in response to the Spirit, we direct our requests to the Father, we make our declarations into the realm of the Spirit, and Boom! Shila baroku salamu kula mahaya kambaroku sakati debehi alaka. Our prayers, our declarations, become alive, full of power, active, operative, energizing, and effective. So never underestimate the strength of your prayers, dear friend. Don't downplay the power of private prayer and corporate intercession. Invisible forces are put to work when we go to our knees. When the church takes its place in the closet, the heavenlies come alive with the forces of of God. It's so true and so real. Through scripture, we, uh, we, do, we see this partnership of his earthly troops and the heavenly hosts working in union, establishing the will of the true God that they serve. You know, but the, it, right throughout, throughout the prophets in the Old Testament, um, it, within many of the books, we find angelic visitation, angelic activity, and then right through the New Testament. From beginning to end, we see these two realms working together and these two orders of being, angelic and human. It's so, so exciting and so powerful to think that we have been invited to engage at this level. Um, and, and so we are looking through prayer to establish the will of the one true God and his agents in the heavenlies are waiting for their command. They're waiting for that word to be spoken that will put them into uh, their, their active service in whatever respect and whatever realm that may be. 
you know, angels that the the scriptures tell us stand in wonder at the place that we have in God's affections and the privileges that redeemed humanity has been afforded. How the Father has placed within our hands and in our authority the weapon of prayer that allows us to operate beyond our realm of habitation, that allows us to at once stand on the earth and um, and at the very same time be seated in heavenly places. You know, we're working as one with God, his messengers and agents in the spirit world and with intercessors across the earth to establish God's kingdom purposes right here on the planet. So, you know, don't ever underestimate what is taking place. It may feel like you are just throwing out your words into the atmosphere, but let me assure you, if those words are spoken in faith, if those words are prompted by the Spirit and moved by the one who lives within you, they are going far beyond beyond the walls, far beyond the ceiling, far beyond the, the, the natural boundaries that you are working in, and they are going to work on your behalf and on behalf of the people that you are praying for. Well, thanks for listening. Hopefully, uh, it's been an encouragement to you today. If you want to connect any further, you can do so through my website at davidleemartin.com. Have a great day.